G'day, it's Adam BK for GHZ. We're going to stop wasting money. Now, a lot of devices we have in our homes these days, and this is uh, this is just one example. This is a Brother P Touch labeler. I use this for I use it infrequently for labeling all sorts of stuff. It's battery powered, and the trouble is when I go to use it, maybe I may not touch it for six to twelve months. Go to use it, the batteries are flat. Like a lot of things these days, this doesn't have a real power switch. It's, it, it, it has a power switch. Um, but what happens when you turn the, well, there you go, it's, it's flat. Uh, when you turn it off, it's actually putting the microcontroller into a low power state or, or a, a sleep state. It's still drawing current. Um, so this is really annoying, especially if you don't use something that often, you got to use it. Batteries are flat and you know, you know this takes, um, this takes six double A's. So it gets expensive to feed after a while. Back in 2018, I did the same thing uh, with some kitchen scales. Didn't do a video on that, but uh, you'll find a write-up on my website, vk4ghz.com. And what we're going to do, we're actually going it's very simple. To save money, you might actually want to turn the device off properly with a real switch. And we're going to fit a little single pole double throw uh, toggle switch to this. Now whilst this is specific to this particular uh, label um, label maker here, you can apply the same technique to just about anything, providing you have the physical space, space to add a switch inside. <laughs> So what I'm going to do here, this is really just demonstrating a principle. So there are six screws on this particular thing, which I've already removed. Now I've identified where I can actually mount the switch. That will be just on the inside here. This is like a, uh, this is probably a normal miniature type uh, toggle switch. You can get smaller ones, sub miniatures. So uh, any fellow Aussies watching, check your, your J-Car or uh, Ultronic stores. They uh, definitely have those. Um, and all it, it's really simple. All we're going to do is break the path going to the, the, the plus battery terminal. So I'll, I'll desolder this wire here going off to the, the, the guts of the thing. That'll go to one side of the switch. The other side of the, the common of the switch will, will go to this uh, plus terminal here. So all you need for the job, a switch obviously, and uh, a small amount of hookup wire. So I've already identified a spot where I'm going to put this, so just grab a drill. Gonna... Huh, be careful of that, it doesn't go too far. As usual, start with a small drill bit. Now I've uh, pre-measured this. Some digital calipers, another handy little tool to have in the in your arsenal. 5.9mm, we'll use a 6mm drill bit. Now, I would, depending on your, uh, your circumstances, you might want to uh, remove anything behind it just to, uh, just to minimize the uh, old fuck moment. Um, there you go, that was pretty easy. We're done. We will mount the switch. Do a test fit of the switch. It's pretty tight for space, I could, oh no. Yeah, yeah no, that's good, that's good. We've gone a millimetre or, or two over that way a little bit more, but um, it will do. So what I'm going to do now, put some goggles on so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Turn on our trusty JBC iron. We will do some soldering. I believe that came from there. Nope. 
Ja, that's better. No. Oh. Ha! It's easy just to pull the bastard out, isn't it? So that must, uh, must go through there. Now, uh, one thing I do, I'd, this is often a, a beer carton, just a bit of cardboard, just so I don't heat affect the uh, anti-static matting on the bench here. That's, um, okay, this is gonna be a bit of a butcher job. I'm just gonna cut this off. I think the wire go, it actually loops through a hole in there. We won't. I'm sure you know how to solder and uh, need to do that you don't really need to watch this bit but you know you can apply this principle to um, a lot of things I would think just a matter of breaking the uh, one of the battery feeds preferably the uh, plus feed I guess you don't um, and wiring a switch in line with that so you can actually turn the thing off properly One side there, now we'll grab our piece of hookup wire. I always like to start with a nice clean end. Yeah, so those um, those kitchen scales I did back, back in um, 2018, oh, man, those things would, that would chew through batteries. Um, and again, it's not something you I, I used all the time. Just tin the end of that. Uh, and you know, 6AA batteries is uh, several bucks these days. So every little bit helps. Just turn the switch contacts. I don't know why we weren't born with three arms and hands. That would be really handy. I do have those little, um, these things here, but you, you know, I probably shouldn't use them more often. So that's there, this will go to the battery contacts, so we'll probably need about that much wire. Literally a five minute job, if that, that. Trim it and we shall solder it to this. Terminal. Preferably without burning ourselves. There we go. Alright. like that. Biggest decision of the day you'll have to make is which way you want to, want to orientate the switch so you know which is down. So uh, for me down would be the most likely on position. Use requires to hold that in position, and we will do up the nut. This is not going to win any awards for finesse, but. The functionality. We're in the running. Put that back on. Put 
it back on. I will screw this up later. And as you can see, we've got our off position, on position. So we'll load it, I'll screw this back together, load it up with some batteries and that'll be it. So that's a really easy way to, uh, to start saving money, guys. And um, it, 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 it's also it's kind of frustrating, really, when you go to use something and it, <laughs> the batteries are flat. So worth doing. Uh, how much is a switch? A couple of bucks. You'll soon get that back in the cost of batteries in no time. And you've probably got switches in your um, in your uh, parts collection anyway. These are the kitchen scales I did. So the trick is just to find a convenient spot to mount the switch. Make sure you've got room behind there for the, uh, the actual switch body itself. And principles, you know, the same. Turn it on. Then you can turn. Then you use the the existing power switch. Turn it on. This thing used to chew batteries, but I could just actually turn it off. Same thing with this. On position, use the devices on switch. And on that note, I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Boo! Boo! That was the worst thing I ever heard. It was terrible. Horrendous. Well, it wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah? Well, there were parts of it I liked. Yeah, I liked a lot of it. Yeah, it was good. It I... was great. It's wonderful. Oh, bravo. More. More. Now can I say it? Yep. Go away! Scrum! Get out of here! Get out of here! Skedaddle! Go away! Ham's gray! Well, come on. All right.